Bats are tiny nocturnal animals that are ill-known and often overlooked. But they're becoming even harder to find in parts of North America where an invasive fungus is threatening their very existence. You can see a little thickening here. That's, that's the reaction from white nose. White nose is the syndrome caused by the fungus Geomyces destructans, which grows on bats as they hibernate. Stricken animals awaken in winter and die of starvation, unless they're picked up by a rescuer like Jackie Cashmere. She cleans off the fungus, and if the bats recover, she releases them in the spring. Most of her rescues come from a local mine where 30,000 bats used to live before the fungus appeared there in 2009. The next year there were some, there was maybe 1,700 left, and then the third year there was like 800. Though bats are often cast as creepy bloodsuckers, they are the unsung heroes of pest control, saving American farmers as much as $53 billion in pesticide costs every year. Sherry Dudas and her husband run an organic farm that feeds over 4,000 families. Without bats, she says, farming just wouldn't be the same. We always like to use natural resources to control uh, insect pests and uh, so if we didn't have the bat to rely upon anymore, uh, we also would be um, using more organically approved pesticides and ours are not always as effective as the pesticides that are available to conventional farmers. Scientists are scrambling to find a way to kill the fungus without harming fragile cave ecosystems. But experts say it could already be too late for some species. With the average mortality at 80 percent, and in some bat species, mortality being 90 and 95 percent, clearly we're going to lose some bat species or have them be, their numbers be reduced to a point where they're functionally extinct in our ecosystem. The bats that Kashmir rescues can live as long as 40 years. And with each one eating hundreds of thousands of bugs a year, every bat is worth saving.